Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Y'all, I want to do something different today and just pop in and just do a quick little sit-down coffee with Tanya before I start my uh, work day. Um, it's an overcast. I hope and pray that it rains today. <laughs> I mean, y'all, we need rain. Really, truly, Father God in heaven, we need some rain. Um, it's just, matter of fact, I bought uh, two sprinklers uh, that I got on order. They're supposed to be today so I can hook my hoses up to them to water the grass because, uh, yeah, the grass and my plant. I went out there yesterday and watered all my plants because they need some help. They need some uh, agua, uh, water, uh, H2O. So, uh, it's, like I said, it's overcast and hopefully we'll pray today. It will rain today. But anyway, I want to just come in and talk to y'all this morning real quickly about um, if information that you receive. Mm. It's a good cup of coffee, y'all. It's a good cup of coffee. Um, there's going to come a time in most of our lives where we're going to receive some information that, of course, is wonderful, great, celebratory. And then there's going to come a time where you're going to receive some information, whether it's a loved one, a child, a grandchild, niece, nephew, what you know, parents. Whatever that is, is. And I specifically want to talk about children. Children. I was listening to a podcast and I thought, you know what, this is this is beneficial to just share. To just share. Because we live in, we live in a time where as the Apostle Paul said, sometimes depending on what your calling is on your life, an encourager, an edifier, however, however God is using you in the body of Christ, we sometimes have to become all things to all people, as the Apostle Paul noted. And so when you receive information again from whoever that is is about whatever that is subject is based on what we're receiving and based on what somebody has put in our care to hear that person whether it be a child a parent again whoever they have entrusted that information to us for a reason. And when I, and, 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 and again, it sparked me to just again, get on here and share because I was reminded again, when I did the Bible study live last Saturday about get, getting, getting information and what do I do with it? What do I do with information that is going to be instructional for my life? So that I can grow, so I, that I can attain whatever it is God wants to, uh, to to give me before the foundation of the world. So going back to people who have brought some information to you about themselves, about their life. And again, what are you going to do with that information? Because a lot of times, unfortunately, we will receive information and we automatically, like I was saying, like we were studying in Psalm 143, that sometimes when you give information to people or you receive information from people, you automatically put them on trial. And that was so powerful to me when we were reading and or when I was reading and then I came on and did the Bible study live and we were discussing 
that very thing. When, when things are going on in your life and there, there are going to be times where yes, that should go to the Lord in prayer. But again, we live in a world, in a society where we all want tangible, instant reaction and instant gratification and instant sympathy and instant empathy. So, so we, we, we all have that measure that we like to feel. And then ultimately we know for those of us who know and, and, and understand that there are certain things, you just keep it between you and the Lord. We understand that. But because we live and we have family members and friends and close friends and perhaps people in our church and in our community that share information, be careful. Oh my God, be careful not to put those people on trial because they have entrusted their information about whatever that is, is going on in their life. We be, have to be careful not to put those people on trial, especially, especially if it's your children or your grandchildren or a niece or a nephew. They have come to you and said, you know what? I like this. And even though you have raised them or poured into that loved one to be a certain way, and now, behold, they're, they're, they're 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23. And they have come into their own and they are making life decisions and life choices that they want to live their life a particular way or a particular lifestyle. Be careful not to put those people on trial. Always remember this to lead in love because again, it's their information about themselves. And if it's, if it's something that they want to share with the world, I don't think we need to be standing in their way to muzzle that because again, it's their information. But again, it ain't for us to go blast it. Because there's one ultimate thing that we have to remember for those in the household of the faith, household of faith. God is big enough. Oh, hear me today. God is big enough. God is omnipotent. God is the great I am. God is all knowing, all seeing. Where he can handle me, he can handle your loved one. He, he can handle every and anything that's going on in everybody's lives all at one time. So again, it's not for us. When people give us sensitive, oh, hear me, please. When people give us sensitive information, just lead in love. Sometimes it can be devastating. You can clasp your pearls and then because you have immediately in front of them. Now, if you have to go away with your spouse, with a loved one that's close knit to the situation and you process that stuff with them. But don't process it in front of your children or that loved one. Because, yeah, there are going to be some things that your children are going to say some things to you. Your loved ones are going to say something to you. Even your co-workers or people who report into you. It's going to, honey, it's going to lift your skirt. And you're going to be like, oh, oh. But because you are in a position to, to receive that information, you have to have the proper decorum. If you are a manager and you have people reporting into you and they have to discuss sensitive stuff with you because you're in that position to receive that information. That's what, see, when, when we're in different roles in our life, that's when we have to always be prayed up and be asking, Lord, please, Lord, help me with this. This person has entrusted this sensitive information unto me. Teach me, like, like we were talking about in Psalm 143. Lord, teach me your will concerning this situation. Lord, teach me proper decorum. 
Teach me not to have a, 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 a running pie hole and, and because this information is so salacious, I just got to tell somebody. No, Lord, give me, teach me how to have decorum. Teach me how to have discretion as it relates to this sensitive information that was just given. Oh, it might be juicy, but again, it's their information that they're sharing with you. And whether it be a coworker, someone who reports in to you, again, a family member, again, y'all know my favorite phrase, whatever that is, is. Because, again, we live in a time in, a, in, 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 you know, where people are sharing and sometimes they overshare. But I just want to, again, when I was listening to that podcast, I said, oh my God, that was direct in line with what we were studying last Saturday about Psalms 143. When you have things going on and they're, they're going to be, they're going to be people that we deal with. They don't know, or maybe they do. But they still want to have someone tangible to say it to other than our Heavenly Father, Abba, Father, God in heaven. David, in that Psalm 143, he cried out and, 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 and laid his situation out before the Lord. He, he discussed what he was feeling, how, how, how he, you know, needed God to step in because, you know, hey, I'm depressed. This, this, this thing is, way, is weighing me down, God. I, I, I don't feel you. I don't know. I don't know. What, where, are you, where are you? But there are going to be people in, in, in our lives that we're connected to some way, shape, form, or fashion. They're, they may not have that relationship where they do that and go to God and only supplement those deep, deep, deep things to God that you might be their person. And so, again, it's important that we be careful not to put people on trial when they entrust that type of information. I mean, we've all watched, whether it be reality shows or we all have watched sitting on the sideline and we know things are going down in people's personal lives. Uh, and we're sitting on the sideline and we say, my God, my God. People run their mouth so much about other folk business. And then I've done videos, you know, keep your pie hole shut. Sh shut up telling everybody your business. Y you know, your deep, deep stuff. You got to be careful. Again, individually, we have to be careful about how we share or overshare. Because that thing will come back like a boomerang. And we know based on that Psalm 143, and I'm sure there may be other scriptures or uh, verses in the Bible that lend to this conversation. When you receive information and you truly want to be an encourager, an edifier, you also, when you receive that, ask the Lord to teach you proper decorum. Lord, teach me what is the will for me and that whoever that person is giving that information, sharing, teach me your will, God, because I don't want to put these people on trial. And again, if it has to do with your children and if you, you have a spouse, yeah, process that stuff with your spouse and not in front of your children or not even in front of the person, because that can be such, uh, you can break a person. Based on your just your reaction. And it's their information they're sharing. And then again, on the other side, as people, we have to ask the Lord. That's why you have to take everything to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, you know what? What this I'm going through, and it may require you to have to get other entities or people involved because it's not something that can be handled just by you. Uh, holding it. It, 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 some things in information that's going on in your life, you gotta what put faith of a mustard seed into action, so it can get taken care of or dealt with. They're gonna be, and we, and y'all understand the difference. But again, I just wanted to come over here and share, and say, for those of us in the household of faith, for those of us who really are. Uh, 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 want to 
uh, help people get from one place to another. And we don't want to be that stumbling block or that hindrance or that person that puts them on trial and they have entrusted and or they feel like they can come to you and say, hey, this is what's going on. And before y'all get out the parking lot, before you get out your house, you done told it to seven people and it's done met that person back where they st stood at and told you. It done got back to them quicker than when you told them. So all I'm saying is, is that ask God, if you know you're a type person that like to run your mouth, but you really know that what this person shared with you needs to have some discretion in the corner. You, that's when you have to say, Lord, help me. I just received this information and I really want to tell it. That's when you have to say, Lord, help me. Ain't nothing. Look, 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 look. Ain't nothing wrong with confessing that thing. That's what you have to call that thing out. And those things that master you, you can call it out. And now you can pick it up, throw it over your back. And now you mastered it. Because at some point, at some point, you got to get your grown folk on. <laughs> you got to get your grown folk on. And, and But like I said, again, information, information you may receive. It may it devastate you to hear it. But at some point, you have to say, okay, Lord, help me. Teach me how to deal in this arena with this. Amen. So anyway. That's just my, uh, what, my two cents or what, my almost uh, 16, 15 minutes of my thoughts on that. Um, ooh, do I hear thunder? Ooh, let it thunder. Let it rain, yes. Rain, Jesus, rain. Oh, rain, Jesus, rain. You're the, the King of Zion and your Judas, your Judas Lion. So rain. Lord, that means rain, R-E-I-G-N. Rain over everything in our lives. Jesus, rain. Oh, my God. What y'all know about that song? <laughs> but yes, Lord, we want you to rain over everything. But we need some rain, R-A-I-N. We need you to rain over everything, like, today. Today. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let me go. It's uh, time for me to get over there and rain over that work over there in that room. Amen. All right. I love you. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Y'all have an awesome day. Bye.